Hello, and thank you for joining us today as we talk about improving customer service for your home buyers. We encourage you to share this presentation with all your teams, from sales to after sales service, because great customer service is a team effort and everyone should be involved in taking ownership of home buyer satisfaction. Buying a new home is most likely the largest investment someone will ever make in their lifetime, and a great home builder ensures home buyers feel supported long after they've settled into their new home. So let's get started. Striving to find new ways to deliver a better customer service experience shows that you're already taking a step towards improving your customer service. Driving a positive new home buying experience starts by listening to the needs and concerns of your home buyers, helping them to understand their warranty rights and obligations, ensuring that warranty information and resources are always accessible, being easy to do business with, and always being open and transparent in all your dealings. Helping a new home buyer understand what to expect improves customer service, which can be accomplished through frequent and effective communication. This may be their first home, and it's a good idea to take every opportunity along the way to help them understand what the home buying process involves. To improve home buyer satisfaction, you should try to make sure each touch point throughout the home buying process is a positive experience so that your home buyers are satisfied every step of the way. A touch point is any time a home buyer comes in contact with your company before, during, and after they purchase from you. A helpful tip is to make sure that at every touch point, you should take the opportunity to tell your home buyers when they can expect to hear from you next. So let's talk about the different touch points that happen before, during, and after purchase. Before the purchase, we'll talk about advertising. During the purchase involves having a great sales team, a helpful decor center, and effective communications. And finally, we'll talk about the touch points that take place after purchase, like the PDI, your after sales service, and again, effective communication. The first set of touch points happens before the purchasing process begins. Advertising is a major way to attract potential home buyers, but what is your advertising telling them? Your home buyers will come to expect exactly what you're promising in your ads, so it's very important to make sure that every aspect that you advertise is something that can be delivered. The next set of touch points happens during the purchasing process. We know that you use your model homes and presentation centers to demonstrate the quality of your product to a potential home buyer, but it's also important to remember that model homes become what your home buyers expect to receive, especially if there are references made to their home looking just like the model home. Use your model homes and presentation centers to highlight any of your unique features and designs. And it's also very important that you are clear about what their home will have versus what the upgrades in the model home are. The next touch point in the home buying process involves your sales team. A good sales team should create a welcoming environment that makes the home buying purchase an enjoyable experience by being positive and friendly, helpful but not pushy, being sincere and honest, consistently delivering messaging with the entire team. They should also be knowledgeable about your company and the products you're selling, and they should be able to answer any questions that your customers may have. It's also a good time to start talking about the warranty that comes with every home, especially around the importance of the pre-delivery inspection. Providing clear information to your home buyers can also help them feel more comfortable with their purchasing decision and to avoid any misunderstandings later. You can do this by spending the time to develop your contracts, schedules, and agreements of purchase and sale. Also by providing clear feature sheets to remove any ambiguity and set realistic expectations. Being specific in addressing common misconceptions, highlighting what is and what isn't concluded, and remember, it's never too early to educate home buyers about the warranty process. It's also very important to explain to your home buyers what will happen in the event of a delay. For example, who can your home buyer contact? What type of compensation could apply? And what warranty coverage would apply? Also to make sure to highlight the statement of critical dates and explain what a delay is and how a delay can potentially happen. The decor center is another touch point and another great opportunity to educate your home buyers about their new home. 
It's very important to ensure your samples match what will actually be used in their home, and if they won't match exactly, let your home buyers know. You can also make recommendations based on lifestyle. So for example, if your home buyer has a pet, large dog say, recommend a flooring which is suitable so they aren't disappointed a few months down the road when their furniture grade hardwood is scratched by their dog. You should also pass on relevant information for specific products and if they need special care. Highlighting inherent characteristics and expected changes in natural products especially is very important. For example, granite looks perfect in the showroom, but depending on the slab cut, it may not look exactly the same. Or Brazilian red cherry hardwood goes through color changes. This is also where communication between your teams is essential. For example, if your sales staff chats with a home buyer and finds out they have those large dogs, they should pass that information down along to the decor center staff and perhaps suggest hardwood may not be their best option. After your home buyer has signed the purchase agreement, it's a good idea to send them a welcome letter or email thanking them for their business and putting their trust in you. Providing them with the next steps in the process and when they can hear from you next, and make sure you provide your contact information should they have any questions. The key to good communication is to provide the right amount of information that's relevant at the right time through the preferred communication channel. Finally, the last set of touch points happens at the PDI and after the purchasing process. The pre-delivery inspection is the first time a home buyer will see their finished or neuter finished home and it must take place before or on the closing date. When scheduling the PDI appointment, take this time to tell your home buyers what the purpose of the PDI is, what they can expect to happen at the PDI, who can attend, and typically how long it takes. After the PDI has been done, provide home buyers with a construction completion schedule so they know what to expect and when. And also, communicate how things will be done and in what time frame. A good example of this is when it comes to sod and grading. Home buyers that move into a development first may expect that they'll have their grading and sodding done first. However, help them understand that those who receive sod first usually depends mostly on lot location and not when they actually moved in. Now let's talk about some best practices when conducting the PDI. It's a good idea to talk about what your customer standard is and to provide it in writing. Provide emergency numbers and consider posting them on the electrical panel, the furnace, or hot water tank, for example. You can also tell them when they can expect identified items to be completed. And for damages, it's a good idea to note which surfaces did not have defects and to specify the exact location so there is no future dispute with subsequent damages caused by others. Communication is key to customer satisfaction. It's up to you to inform home buyers what to do, how to do it, and who to contact at every stage in the process. Customer satisfaction surveys indicate that home readiness is a key component in home buyer satisfaction. And this sounds like an obvious one, but make sure you give yourself enough time to build the house before the PDI takes place. It's easier to deal with unfinished items before the PDI, and by doing so, you'll ensure that your home buyers are inconvenienced as little as possible. There are many resources for PDIs on our website that you can direct your home buyers to. We've recently updated our PDI checklist, which provides a comprehensive list of what should be checked during a PDI that you can direct your home buyers to before the PDI takes place. There's also a handy pamphlet that you can print off and give your home buyers, which outlines everything they need to know before the PDI happens. For more information on the PDI, be sure to watch our pre-delivery inspection video on our website. After sales service communication about completion updates and scheduling repairs is very important. Try to ensure that scheduling repairs is timely. Offer multiple repair dates early on in the process. Don't wait until the end of a build or repair period to do the repairs and try to maximize work done on one visit. Every service appointment is a day home buyers may be missing from work or from family time, so try to be respectful of their schedules and complete as much work as possible in one visit. Remember, the best way to know how to improve your customer service is to ask your home buyers for feedback so you can improve your customer service to them. And once you've received their feedback, 
respond to it, to acknowledge that you've heard what they've had to say. Then act on the feedback and communicate exactly what you will be doing based on that feedback. The most important thing to remember is that to your home buyer, only one thing matters, and that is their new home. We encourage home buyers and builders to keep their lines of communication open. If you do need to reach us, please call us at 1-877-982-7466 or by email at customerservice at terrian.com.